Frederick Anderson, backed up by Antti Ranta, another veteran. They're new to Carolina this season. We're underway as Kapari with Moore and Dustin Brown start up front for head coach Todd McClellan. Here's Brown to the attacking line, got tied up. Look out, Aho with it, room into the zone. Aho a pass across, shot, and they score. Seth Jarvis, the rookie, set up by Sebastian Aho, and the Hurricanes score three minutes into the first period. The Kings don't necessarily have control of the puck, but there's the turnover. And then the poke by Aho, and all of a sudden it's a two on one. Now, I thought initially Anderson played it okay, but watch Mikey, he goes with a stick, and when you miss, Ahu has the skill there. You see what he did there? He went around the stick and then between the legs to make the pass. Hurricanes up 1-0 as Lazat gets tossed. Lemieux out with Kalia. There's so many times, Nick, you only look at the end result of goal, but that one right there happened up the ice. Edler's shot off a faceoff win block. Now Lazat scores! <laughs> It stopped momentum for the Hurricanes. What do you do? You win a face-off, and then it doesn't get all the way through, but then you see coming out of a pile. And you can understand how Freddie Anderson doesn't really see this. Look at Lemieux battle for the puck. And three Hurricanes are there. Cali have been behind. This is the reaction you want to see. This is the pushback. You get a face-off. Blake Lazad had gotten tossed on the draw. Lemieux took it, and it winds up being a goal. Now a point shot and a wow. score. Wow. The Hurricanes come right back. They got the puck in deep, threw it out to the blue line. Shea's shot looked to change directions. Face off after the Kings goal. Simple play by the Hurricanes. And then you get the shot. You had kind of an eye formation in front for the Hurricanes. So quick shot by Shea right away. He gets it going, doesn't stop. But once, I think it hits two Hurricanes, Nick. In the NHL, Carolina ranked first in face offs. Yeah, they've got three of the top 25 off the oh, score! His first goal as a king in the 100th of his career. And we're tied at two. Win a face-off and score a goal. This one is a lot cleaner by Kopitar. And you can see, it's not necessarily a screen, but watch 31 Anderson. He tries to be more aggressive, but he can't be because his defenseman is right there because Kempe went to the front of the net. You crowd the goaltender. He's not comfortable, and the Kings tie it up. Two to two. Kings' Mikey Anderson rims it around the wall, pinching D'Angelo. Couldn't make a play. And now to center ice, Apinasiu. Moves in, lost the putt, penalty coming up on the play to the trailer, Mata, scores! Holy Mata from the top of the left circle. I don't think that one was deflected. But the Kings don't stop from that perspective. They keep going. You keep going to the front of the net. Well, there's the contact. It's outside the crease, so that helps. If it's incidental outside the, or is it in the crease? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I think you're going to see a coach's challenge here. That's what I think you're going to... You're going to stop right here, guys? There's your contact. So there it is. Shoulder to shoulder. He's not trying to do that. Of course, the puck ends up over here. After review, we have no goal for goaltender at their friends. Accidental. We got Carolina 48. Man up for holding. And one of the few times in this game so far where the Hurricanes had sustained possession in the offensive zone with a four check. Now the Kings changing. Here's Svechnikov for Aho. Aho moving in. A shot pass. Score! It was tipped in front. The Hurricanes get the goal. I don't know if it went off a Hurricane stick or Bjornfoot. And then it's one of those situations where they have enough time to build up speed with that long pass up the boards. Watch Aho. He spots the traffic. He spots the speed. Period two here at Staples. Aho around one man who fell down to the net. Aho, a chance save is made. And a penalty coming up on the Kings. It'll be a hold. A cross in the right wing. And they'll set things up. D'Angelo is out there. His uh, return feed broken up. And here's a break. Up the middle. Kempe in on goal. Scores! Short-handed goal, Adrian Kempe. 
then speed. The position, the stick, and then the afterburners. And it's interesting here. Adrian knows that he's by himself a little separation here, but then he has to protect. And doing so... And a shot wide of the net, or might have been deflected off a stick. Slavin with a bid. Slavin again. Save. Rebound. Backhander. Score. Kota Miami on the rebound. And the Hurricanes have another lead. It's 4-3. It's been a forecheck by the Hurricanes. But look at the numbers. I mentioned this earlier. Two men directly in front of the net. Stepan keeps it alive, and then he just gets out of the way. Welcome. He jumps. Great veteran move. Watch the savvy play of Stepan. He has to make room for Cook Niemi to get the backhand, so in doing so, he jumps out of the way. Rasmus Kapari, former Kings first-round pick, in to help out. Moore try to jam it in. Save made, and then Brown was tied up, trying to get to the loose puck. And we're going to get a penalty for hooking. And here's Lazat. Lazat, Neagley, to Kaliev, into the zone, feeds it across, gets it back, tips it on, save is made, give and go with Lemieux, now a chance, save, score on the rebound! It all started with a rush that began with Blake Lazat carrying out of his own end, and the Kings have tied it again! Bunch of fun at Staples Center, I'll tell you that, there's Lazat, that pass right there to Kaliev, and they made the play! But then, you stay on it. You're not backing off. You're hanging around the front of that. See Lemieux, he went behind, but immediately went to the front. Where's the rebound going to be? It's going to be in front of the net. Hard shot. And then find a way to get your position. Lemieux might have blocked the first one, but he gets the rebound. And we're on our way to 6-6. Six, six. Brady Shea knocks it off the glass and out to center. Glove to his stick by Kopitar. Then he was double teamed. Canes with it, moving in on left wing to the net, and a chance, score Natchez! What a great move by Martin Natchez! With 31 seconds left in the period, and back and forth we go. 5-4 Carolina. Gets caught again, watch 44, reach for the stick, I believe, right there, yeah. And just that little, just that little reach allows the speed of Natchez to become the factor. What we've seen this year from Mikey Anderson, Jim, there's been times when he leans a little bit too far forward in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and then he doesn't control the speed of the opposition player. Credit Natchez for that lean at the proper time, protect the puck. Kaliev with the puck, works it free. Lazat feeds it across. Oh, what a save off Lemieux. Frederick Anderson with his best today. By Arco. Cross pass, one-timer, glove on top of the pad. And the Kings will have to reset. Kopitar over the line on the right side, moving down low, feeds Kempe with a shot, save, rebound, Kempe, save again. Andre Kopitar through center ice, hands it off. Kempe, cross ice, Bjorn foot shoots, save is made, rebound, Kopitar, threw it at the net. Kopitar up high, Roy with a blast, save, rebound, I have follow, spinning, shooting, save is made, rebound, loose shot, Arvidsson in tight save. Kings recapture, Roy a shot, save through traffic. Carolina with it, Hurricanes knock it off the glass, and they will hold on and win here today, 5-4, to four, despite being outshot 42-20. to 20.